So uh, I had a comment from the Urban Lumberjack, who, uh, who does some really cool stuff, by the way. And he said, I want to see your collection. I don't have a collection, per se. I'd say I have a bunch of axes, and some of them I use, and some of them I can't bring myself to use. It's part of restoration. It's like you decide, okay, that one's retired, that one's my user. So here's a really special one. It does have some damage. It does have some damage at the heel right here. So a tiny bit's missing. I don't know if you can see. But uh, this was identified by George over on Instagram, a.k.a. I think very deeply. I, I believe that's his uh, username on there. I'll, I'll uh, link to him. He's a great, he's great restoration guy, great with, uh, you know, old history about timber tools and timber processing. And this is what he says, a J.K. Eldridge. And he has one, and that's the only other one we've both seen. And, and I, obviously, you know, he's the guy that helped me uh, identify this J.K. Eldridge. You can see the stamp up here kind of faded. You can see the J.K., right here um but yeah this is retired and this is my first handle match as well whoops where am i <laughs> first handle match i found this on a uh, really old plum uh, round lug plum and the craziest thing about this is i did no removal i just stuck it on and wedged it i think that's an elm wedge yeah that's an elm wedge Oops. Look at this thing. This thing is big. So, one of my favorites, J.K. Eldridge. Another one that I'll never use. And this is really a shame. This one's a little newer. You can see the overstrike damage here, but you can also see that's an original handle. And you can really see that it's an original handle because it's permabonded. And here's the special thing about it. It is a paper label, plum, Dayton, with a three pound weight stamp. And I don't see a lot of three pound Daytons with a weight stamp. So this is a really cool ax. Clean edge, very clean. Tiny bit missing on the toe. You could barely tell. Really pretty ax. Man, do I love this one. And uh, going along with the theme, here's another plum. This is a cruiser. Pretty sure it's all original. Man, what a beauty. I haven't touched this in so long. Oh my God, what a beautiful axe. So this is a uh, plum cruiser on the, maybe the original haft. Look at that hang. It's still tight. It's just barely recessed by like a sixteenth of an inch. Oh man, I love this one. I'll never use this one, probably. It's not sharp in any way. And uh, here's probably the first axe I got where I was just thrilled. I thought that I just got like the greatest thing in the world. Huge, huge fireman's axe. It's a man, as you can see. Man from, uh, where is it, Levittown? Lewistown, PA. Man, what a beauty. Look at how big this thing is. Huge, massive, and the handle. That, uh, one of the reasons why I got this, and I paid everything in my wallet I had at the time for this, is because of this amazing handle. Oh, man. Here, let me bring you guys up a little. Look at that incredible fawn's foot. I mean, it just, your hand just goes there, and it's not, it doesn't want to go anywhere else. This is its retirement place. This is where your hand goes on retirement, right here. And it stays in it, and it, and it sunbathes. Goes to, this is like a Florida for an old person, this fawn's foot. Anyway, those are some of my favorites. I got a lot more favorites, probably, and a lot more to hang. These, these I didn't, actually, I only hung this one. So, I only hung the J.K. Eldridge. All the others came as is, and I didn't touch them, and I'm probably not, never going to touch them. My only problem is with this uh, fireman's axe. This uh, paint is probably, 
I did use it a tiny bit. You could see the paint coming off. This paint's probably not uh, original, so it kind of sucks. I would I would love to take it off easy, but it's still on the handle. And you can see it even covered a step wedge, which, by the way, guys, cross wedges, not step wedge, cross wedge, um, that can hurt your handle because th this dimension spreads your wood apart. If, if it's regular grain orientation, that causes cracks to go down all the way down to your handle. And that happens. Don't, don't say it doesn't happen. That's, I mean, I have so many vintage axes and vintage hatchets where that's happening. So definitely happens. It's definitely something to think about. Uh, I always worry about these axes. I don't want to take away value or ruin something about them. So anyway, guys, just a quick video, show some of my cool ones. I, I haven't, I haven't like gotten a look at them like this. And I just, uh, I'm smiling real hard right now. <laughs> look at this cool picture. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.